What's up, fanatics? I'm Giles, and today we're going to talk about something that we've never talked about before. So if you've watched my videos in the past, you know, you always get to see me. And, you know, other than my striking good looks, the one thing that I always have on is a pair of glasses. And that's because I can't see out there. And, well, I can't really see up here either anymore. But I've always got these on. And I've always kind of bought into that idea of one day in the future, you're going to have glasses that are going to do things for you. And up to this point, it's not really played out well. Well, in the next few videos, I'm going to dive as deep as I can into the frames ecosystem so that we can see, is there really a device that's worthwhile to wear for additional technology? And the first stop on that train are sound core frames by Anchor. Yeah, Anchor is the company that makes batteries and the little USB power plugs and that kind of stuff, but they also make a pair of smart glasses. Now, how smart are they? I don't know, we're gonna find out together. Um, so knowing that I don't know anything, right? I don't know anything about these at all. Let's take it step by step and we'll figure this thing out. So first, let's unbox it and talk about the specs and then we'll get into actually using these things and seeing if they're worthwhile or maybe hearing if they're worthwhile. I don't know. Anyway, let's go. Now it's time to explore the depths of mystery of the Anchor Soundcore frames. <laughs> um, so the box is actually pretty nice. It's uh, it's nice, that nice quality, uh, I don't know, some kind of paperboard that's a little bit thicker, that's coated in this plasticky type of material. Um, so the things that this calls out that we'll have to figure out are interchangeable frames. I don't know what that means, with a quick release. So does that mean you can get some lenses and move them from frame to frame? I have no idea. Um, spacious sound via open sound system and two mics for clear calls, five and a half hours of playtime and IPX4 water resistant. That's good. If you're gonna go outside in the rain, at least it won't blow up. Then, you know, what's in the box? You've got the frames and audio temples. Okay. Uh, Soundcore frame case, magnetic charging cable and a cleaning cloth. All right. Uh, Anchor, loved by 20 million people, and apps in Google Play and the App Store. All right, time for Tamadachi. Shing! <laughs> I love this knife. It's totally not for this job, but uh, I use it anyway. Um, boom, look at that, first try. Okay, uh, Tamadachi, you have done well. All right, so magnets in the front. They, they put some money into this packaging. There's no doubt. Oh, look at this. All right. So you can discover more styles to suit you, that suit you. And then they have these cool sunglasses, which I guess are these. Okay, I guess that's what they mean by detachable. They, they actually come off, okay. Um, here are the instructions on how to set this up. So you take it out of the box, obviously. Um, then you make sure the logo is facing outwards and then you click it together and we'll get to that. Okay, and it says if you can't figure it out, call customer service. Makes sense. All right. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Nice. Nice. Okay, this is modular. Lots of little boxes in here. That's kind of cool. Set you to the back end. Okay, quick start guide and cables. Okay, so far, I'm extremely impressed by the packaging. This is, uh, this is pretty baller. I, I like this, I like this a lot. Ooh, all right. All kinds of stuff, and we'll read all this later. I'm not gonna worry about it now. We have a cable, and this is very lightweight and small. Um, so it looks like it is a, okay, there are magnets in here, obviously. <laughs> Okay, and it looks like you can charge both of the temples, I guess, at the same time uh, with a USB type A connector. You can set off to the side. Now this must be the case, maybe? I don't know. Let's see what happens. All right, okay, this is super flat, whatever it is. Super magnetic-y, and okay, yeah, yeah. So it's one of these accordion style cases. Um, I don't know that I would ever use this, but it's a nice inclusion. Nothing else in there. And then, see, so you pull up on this, it says. 
Um, I guess. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, I don't want to break it. Uh, okay, let me get my hand out of the way there. So this is super lightweight. This doesn't weigh anything at all. I mean, this is, this is just plastic. Uh, a little bit of metal there on the temples. Um, and I guess you can somehow have prescription lenses made for this. Um, as that I would have to have prescription lenses. Um, no way around it. There's that. And then, uh, I don't think there's anything else in here, but let's see. Nope, that's all there is. Man, that is a lot of packaging. And then this is where all the tech is apparently. And these two guys right here. Um, so nice, they had to not, and I don't know why they're not attached. Um, maybe it's, I, maybe you could just buy this part separately and put these on it. Um, maybe, I don't know. But if we take a close look at this, let me see if I can get in here. There's what looks like a speaker here. Then uh, it says it's touch, so maybe it's touch sensitive. You've got the chargers here, and then these connect into the frames. And then on this side, you got the same thing. It's like touch and swipe. So I think, yeah, I think this is gesture oriented somehow. Um, again, another speaker here. Maybe it's a microphone too, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Um, and so that's that. So here are the main pieces along with our charging cable. And uh, the next step is to figure out how to get an app for this going and to charge these bad boys up and then we'll see what we can do with them. Now that we've got the Anchor Soundcore frames unboxed, let's dig in a little bit more deeply. But before that, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Subscriptions grow the channel and it allows us to bring you content like this on a consistent basis. And you get to be part of the family. You get to be a fanatic and there's nothing better than being a fanatic with all the rest of us fanatics. So, um, you know, as, as we said before, you know, there are different pieces, right? There's the I don't know, the lenses and, and the frame, and then the uh, legs. And it said that they were detachable, and I didn't really get it, but they literally mean they come off. And uh, I guess this would allow you to get different styled fronts for these that, and you know continue to use the same pieces that have all the technology. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put this stuff together. Now, first thing, you wanna go get the Soundcore app and install it on your phone. Um, the instructions said to, so that's what I've done. But now we're gonna go ahead and plug this stuff together. Now I've charged these and they, they're beeping at me as I move them around. So maybe they know something's up. Um, and as you can see on the screen, the charging's really easy. The little magnetic pieces clip right on, you plug it in, good to go. And then assembly looked easy. It said you just push it in. And uh, as I can't see anything up close, let's do this. All right. Um, Oh, look at that, bam. And I assume I put it on the right side. Let's hope, looks right. Okay, and there's that, okay. And they close. All right, now let's, uh, let's, let's give you the big unveiling here of how stylish these may or may not be. Now, they sent these to me without knowing how huge my head is, and my head is absolutely massive, so let's see what's going on. All right, here we go. I got a little screen down here so I can see myself. Do I look cool or do I look like an old man in some glasses that aren't too cool? Um, I think they're actually pretty nice looking. Um, I wonder if I can put some prescription lenses in these frames because the fit for me is pretty good. The legs could be, oh my God, it's making sounds. It just went ding, 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 ding. That's kind of cool. And that wasn't music, but it didn't sound bad at all. Oh yeah, dude, this is like, uh, I'm getting sounds. Okay, um, let's go ahead and take a look, quick look at the app and I think I need to update firmware, other stuff like that, I'm not really sure, but we'll look at that together and figure it out. But I'm kind of getting excited because this might be really, really cool. All right, let's open up the Soundcore app and see what's going on here. Hear it, feel it, I can feel it and hear it, I love it. Uh, let's allow some notifications. We can continue. 
Oh man, we gotta sign up. Okay, this is always fun. So let's sign up. All right, got logged in successfully. And let's uh, add a new device, which will be the glasses. These, these bad boys. Press plus to add your new device. Okay. Oh, these are just instructions. Okay. <laughs> All right, whatever. Shopping mall. Okay, I got it. I just want to add. Yep, let's use your Bluetooth. Now, okay, out of the instructions, add devices. What do we got? Headphone speakers and frames. That would be the one. Pair your device in Bluetooth settings. Okay, let's do it. Settings. Bluetooth. Okay, the secret to pairing these is it says you have to put them on. So I'm gonna put them on. They're beeping at me. Oh, look at that. That makes a lot of sense. All right, gotta put them on to, to pair them. Connected. And the glasses went do 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 to let me know that it was done. Very nice. Okay, here we go. All right, that's how you remove them. I don't think it's telling me to do it. I think it just says that's how you do it. Wearing calibration. You can calibrate the frame and the app for better experience, okay. Tap. You can tap this area to play pause audio. So I guess maybe that's on either side. Um, looks like it's on either side. Double tap. Swiping, change of songs and volume. Okay, that's how to manually turn them on. I'm ready. Let's update. Go. Install. Okay, the firmware update is done, it's rebooting, and I can hear in my ears all of the reboot sounds for the frames. So they're, they're coming back to life. All right, now, am I supposed to touch this? I am. Okay, let's see if, uh, if, see if it shows the firmware is okay. I'm up to date, I love it. Okay, let's see what we've got inside here. Oops, I don't wanna do that. Oh, I don't wanna do that. Maybe I can't, okay, I can. Add frames, I don't wanna do that. Open surround, okay. Privacy mode, default equalizer. Let's see what we got. Oh man, we can go dance, podcast, classical. Let's just uh, sound core signature. I don't really want a custom EQ, but if you wanna get some of that 80 hertz action. All right. Wearing detection, I've got those on. Wearing calibration. Place the glasses on a flat surface with no obstructions. Start wearing the calibration process. Oh, start the wearing calibration process. It will take approximately five seconds. Okay, um, so they are set down. I guess you can see them there off to the side. Calibration. Okay, done. That's easy. When I put them back on my head, I get the bling. Controls, double tap, play pause. Okay, yeah, left and right, okay. And then the swipe, double tap, swipe, front to back, previous, next, that's left, okay, and right. So same on both sides. With setup complete, it really just comes down to functionality and sound now. So let's talk a little bit about the experience. So. There's nothing magical about the frames, meaning that they don't have like any super crazy functionality. They're basically a Bluetooth speaker um, that you can use to do phone calls with as well, right? So it's, it's pretty cool. It's kind of like a super awesome version of one of those Bluetooth earpieces from back in the day that you can wear all the time because you're wearing glasses. So um, sound wise, do these sound as good as you know, $500 headphones. 
No, they don't. They don't. They sound absolutely fine, but I don't think the sound quality gets up into the uh, level of audiophile sound quality or super good headphones. Um, the benefit is that if you wear glasses or you're going to have sunglasses on, you can have something to listen to all the time. You can take your phone calls, right? It's a lot of convenience. Um, and I'm sure the sound will get better as the generations of these improve, but the sound's not bad. It's just not super awesome like you'd get out of a high-end pair of earphones. Um, that being said, I'm totally happy with it because I wear glasses all the time anyway, and if I can have some way to listen to my music or podcast or that kind of thing, go into a restaurant, sit down, like if I go to lunch by myself at work, I can take these with me and listen to this while I'm in the restaurant, and I don't have to carry anything else with me. I've got my phone, and I listen to it. So now source material, uh, there's no special app or anything for that. The app we looked at really is just for setup. If you want to listen to something, you take your phone, um, you open up whatever you listen to, Kobuz or whatever it is. Remember, it's just Bluetooth from the phone. So whatever the phone is spitting out is what you're going to hear. And the touch controls work great. Uh, primarily, I use it for pause, start again, and then you can slide to skip to the next song. So you fire up Kobuz, you're listening to stuff, get bored with that one. Uh, go, somebody calls you, you can answer it, you can talk with this, you don't have to pick your phone up or anything. Super, super, super cool. Um, uh, the, uh, about the glasses themselves, um, they fit me actually really well. Um, my kids said they don't look stupid, <laughs> so uh, I will trust their opinion. I think they look great. Um, you can change out the frame, the lens section, and keep the, the legs the same, so you can go different styles. Um, right now, these are not prescription lenses, so I'm like looking at a big world of blur right now, so I need to go and get some prescription lenses put in this uh, so I can use them uh, out and about in the real world. Maybe I'll get some that kind of do the transition thing so I can use them in the office as clear and then have them turn dark when I'm outside, or, or maybe I'll just use them for sunglasses, I don't know. But I like them enough that I'm willing to invest the money into some prescription lenses for this. Now, the lenses that come in these are, are quite dark, they're, they're nice, um, and they're polarized in some way um, you, when you look at them and you look at the screen, you can see that it's doing something. I don't know if it's like a blue block or what it is, but and I didn't see on the box what the lenses are actually doing, but they're not just tinted plastic. There's some kind of thing, polarization or blue block or something going on. Um, if anybody out there is know, knows what that is, please drop a comment uh, down below. And I guess this brings us to the final verdict. So what do I think about these things and would I recommend them? Um, if you want something cooler than just a regular pair of sunglasses, you want to be able to have music with you at all times and not have to use some other kind of device, I think these are absolutely superb. They're, they're super cool. I mean, it just, it rocks the block. I mean, I'm, this is this is like so much better than the old Bluetooth earpieces. You get to do all that stuff. You get stereo sound. The sound's quite good uh, for what it is. And you can use it for phone calls. Yeah, thumbs up. Now, if uh, if you don't wear glasses all the time, um, and you're not big into sunglasses very much, then probably not a use case for you. But I would say that anybody that likes music and needs to wear something on their head, this is gonna become a, 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 just a no-brainer. I mean, if you look, it's not that big, right? Um, I could see Soundcore going into uh, cooperation with some kind of high-end glasses brand because you see a lot of glasses that are cool that have thick uh, legs on them already. and they could put all this technology in pretty much any of those. So I think the styling over time uh, will become pretty cool. And if the connector for these legs into the frame uh, can become a standard, then you can get a whole bunch of companies working together and you can mix and match parts and that kind of thing and make it even cooler. So um, I, I like this. I, I think this is great. Um, I think you would like it if you wear glasses, um, but I recommend everyone give it a try. Uh, just remember, don't expect to get like audiophile, headphone, thousand dollar quality out of these because you won't. But if you like good sound that gives you a good uh, uh, stereo effect, right? I mean, it's pretty enveloping um, and all the convenience of being able to carry it on your head and answer your phone calls without something extra is absolutely, absolutely for you. So um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, ring the bell, do all those things. And I'll see you guys in the next video.